Hey YouTube, Matt here with motherboards.org and today we're going to find out what happens when you cram an extreme amount of hardware into a single case. And I mean extreme. Two R drives, two SSDs, eight core processor, four GPUs, and a whole lot more. It's the brand new Epic Force Superstock from Main Gear, powered by the all new eight core Haswell E i7-5960X from Intel. Let's take a look. The case itself is a Corsair Obsidian 900D painted in the epic silver uh, glossy finish. It's chock full of white LED lighting which gives it a high-end but classy look which is not over the top. Uh, the motherboard itself is the ASUS Rampage 5 Extreme. It's got USB 3, SATA 6, um, and supports the new Haswell E Core i7-5960X processor. This build holds nothing back when it comes to GPUs, courtesy of the two AMD Radeon R9 295X2 cards. It's a total of 16 gigs of GDDR5 when put together. The processor itself is the Intel Core i7-5960X octa-core processor. It's got 20 megs of L3 cache and hyper-threading. Memory here is provided is also provided by Corsair. It's 16 gigs of Corsair Vengeance LPX DDR4. Now, in order to power all this, we definitely have to have a BC BP power supply. That's why in here you'll find the 1500 watt Corsair AX1500i power supply with custom gray sleeve cables. On the storage front, you have two Intel 730 SSDs as well as a two terabyte Seagate Barracuda hard drive at 7200 RPM. So, what does it take to keep something like this cool? Well, it takes a lot of fans and water cooling, what they call the Epic Superstock liquid cooling system. It's got two 900 millimeter premium copper radiators mounted at the top, one mounted on the side, 10 high airflow fans, custom acrylic tubing. The Intel Core i7 Extreme Edition 5960X is Intel's first desktop 8 core processor aimed at enthusiasts. Combined with hyper threading, it can handle 16 simultaneous threads. Now, while the mainstream desktop line of processors on the LG1150 socket made their move to Haswell some time back, but this is just now hitting the larger LGA 2011 socket, which, other than a few high-end Extreme Edition processors, is generally used for big Xeon server CPUs. The socket is actually dubbed LGA 2011 V3, because while the socket for Haswell E uses the same number of pins as previous sockets, they're not electrically compatible. Now, don't expect to drop one of these into your current LGA 2011 board. Also different, from the LGA 2011 processors, Haswell E marks the transition from DDR3 to DDR4 memory. DDR4 is an important step forward for extreme performance processors like the, uh, the i7 Extreme Edition, and will no doubt supplant DDR3 going forwards. Now, DDR4 runs at 1.2 volts instead of 1.5, which is a big drop in power consumption. Not as big of a deal for a home desktop, but a really big deal for server farms and data centers that could have thousands of RAM modules running. Now, DDR4 can also run at much higher speeds, is more efficient, and thanks to more pins and better signal-to-noise ratio, it can support twice the capacity per module. As we saw with the Ivory Bridge to Haswell transition for LGA1150, you'll see a similar 5 to 10% overall performance improvement clock for clock, which our tests reflect. But cramming two additional cores into the die causes a few issues, mostly with heat. So in order to counteract that, the stock clock speed has dropped from 3.6 with a 4 GHz turbo to 3 GHz with a 3.5 GHz turbo. At stock, the 4960X Ivy Ridge E was generally faster for productivity and gaming tasks. The only exception were tasks that could truly utilize the extra two cores, like H.264 video encoding. Not surprisingly, Haswell E is setting overclocking records, particularly the 6-core variant, Overclocking with 8 cores over 6 means more heat to manage. Now, thankfully, Main Gear's liquid cooling setup does a fantastic job keeping things cool, and the Asus Rampage 5 Extreme is very easy to work with. We pushed ours up to 4.3 GHz easily enough, and the performance improvement was striking. Our PC Mark score jumped from 5963 to 6319. Geekbench single core jumped from 3350 to 3934. Now, taking it above that caused some instability, but with additional time and patience, we think that there is some extra room to go a little high. Even when paired up with our trusty 2X ViewSonic VP2770 LED monitor, two R295X2 graphics cards tends to chew through just about anything you throw at it, 
even at 2K resolutions. But this kind of setup is screaming for multiple monitors at 4K, or greater resolutions to start putting any real stress on it. However, a lot of games simply don't scale to utilize four graphics cores effectively. Now, some driver improvements since the R295X2 first shipped back in April has helped, but don't always expect four GPUs to offer double the performance as two. The highest real-world improvement we saw was around 86%, but some games, it's far less. So where does that leave us? Well, as configured, this Epic rig comes with an equally epic price tag. The base price of a Haswell E Epic Force is 6,500 bucks. As customized, this one runs just shy of 11,000. Now let's not kid ourselves though. This is a premium custom solution with automotive grade paint, killer cooling, and more processing power than any PC outside of the data center. If you're going to go Haswell E, the real decision is whether or not the 8-core variant makes much sense. Unless you're running applications that can really stress every core, you may be better off with the 6-core 5930X. Now, if you can stress every core, the 8-core 5960X won't disappoint when overclocked. Twin R9 295X2s doesn't exactly hit the price performance sweet spot. But at this level, it does make sense to go with as much GPU as possible, especially when you're taking advantage of their custom water cooling. Now, if AMD isn't your bag, don't worry. Main Gear can customize yours with single, dual, tri, and quad card setups from both NVIDIA and AMD. Outfitted with a 6 or 8 core Haswell Eat processor from Intel, custom cooling, and several of the best graphics cards currently available, it's truly a force to be reckoned with. In short, the Main Gear Epic Force lives up to its name. I'd like to thank you for watching our hands on look at the Epic Force custom PC with the Intel Haswell E5960 8 core processor. As always, you can follow us on Twitter at motherboards.org, subscribe to us on our YouTube channel here on uh, YouTube and um, catch us online at www.motherboards.org. Uh, until next time, thanks for watching. See you.